welcome back to this channel be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel the topic i'm come for telling about today is carrie douglas charged with briefing curfew senior cop accused of interference Councillor Carrie Douglas was charged Tuesday night and arrested for breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act and disorderly conduct after being accused of breaching the curfew order, implemented in response to the growing of the virus crisis across the island. She was arrested and charged by officers from the Canton Spring Police Station in St. Andrew. Reports are that about 9.28 p.m., Douglas was stopped along Meadowbrook and failed to identify herself as a member of essential service as laid by the law. The report said that she became boisterous and started cursing abusive language, stating that the police were idiots and duns to the annoyance of the disturbance of the public. She was bailed at a sum of 20000 and will appear in Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on May 6, 2020 to answer to charges. However, Douglas, who is a two-term Trafalgar Division counsellor, said that the police erred in the performance of their duties. She argued that she should have not been charged in the first place because as mayors and councillors are exempt under the Disaster Risk Management Act. I was definitely not treated fairly. How can you charge a councillor for breaching a law from which is exempt? This is definitely politics at play, man, Douglas said. What else could it be? How can you charge someone who is exempt after determining her identity? Imagine the mayor and deputy mayor and TC came to identify me and they were completely ignored. Oh, why? SSP came and also could identify me. Nothing changed. Oh, why? She asked. According to paragraph 982 of Disaster Risk Management Act, persons engaged in the transformation of manufacturer products, persons employed to the factories as identified by the Factories Act, mayors and councillors are ordered special privilege and can be on the road allegedly outside the hours of the curfew act. Douglas is the fire councillor who detached the People's National Party PNP to join the Jamaica Labour Party JLP in February 2020. Asked about her alleged loud behaviour and disorder conduct, she determined those charges vehemently, completing numerous no there were recording me. Why hasn't the tape had been released? The daughter of the late former PNP candidate Prime Minister Easton Douglas said. In the meantime, police officer at the Constant Spring Police Station have alleged that the senior officer attempted to compose the investigation. At about 10.30 p.m. SSP Stephen McGregor attended the police station stating that he was sent by the Commissioner of Police to invade in the matter. He questioned the police as to why he was charging the counselor. So if Stephen came and she was charged after the intervention of the senior officer, you can know she was really carrying on like a Virgo. A source at the station said, all that was expected of her is a little respect and dignity shown to the men and women who put their lives on the line for their country. The mayor and deputy mayor who were also present were told that the law is the law and respect must be shown. Sources continue. Police on Monday charged six men who were caught in a bar in Falmouth, Chilarney, with breaches of the Disaster Risk Management Act. Bar should have been closed, ordered by the government among measures, the Criminal Act. In the meantime, the Prime Minister and Oulness announced that the government will extend the currently nightly curfew, the seven-day curfew which was originally scheduled to end on Wednesday, April 8th, was extended by the government in the source of the growing virus across the island. So people make what have one little talk, you know. Why every minute Carrie Douglas is involved in an incident, the people um, who involved in the incident are a person who was on the scene of the continuously assessed voice to us. Of a continuously assessed, she have no manners, she have no behavior, she deal with it anyway, pan top her vice anyway at all when it did come on to the thing with our picnic our children they could understand what the facts they are picnic sick so you get out of control eventually so people want to take this as an example for sister and on a joke thing the curfew the curfew a serious thing and off abide by the law and anyways want to leave down in the comment section and tell me if a them all is a take said pan curry or a she just not have no behavior